You'll never learn, will you? Dear Tim and Moby, How does a magnet stick to something? From Jen. Thousands of years ago, people in China found a type of iron ore called magnetite that occurs naturally in the earth. When small pieces of iron were rubbed against the magnetite, those pieces would start to act like the magnetite. When the pieces were free to turn, one end always pointed north. Every magnet has a north and a south pole. And it's true that opposites attract. A north pole will attract a south pole. But try to get one north pole together with another north pole and they're just not interested. You can force them together, but they will repel each other. Well, not all metal is magnetic, but any piece of metal that contains a bit of iron, like this paperclip, has the potential to become a magnet. Pieces of metal like paperclips have arrangements of atoms inside them called magnetic domains. The poles of these domains are all randomly organized, so they pretty much cancel each other out. But the domains inside of a magnet are a different story. The alignment of the domains inside a magnet creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field in the magnet is enough to temporarily line up the magnetic domains in the paperclip, which can literally cause the paperclip to be pulled towards the magnet. If the paperclip moves too far away from the magnetic field, the effect goes away. Iron and other magnetic metals in the Earth have magnetic north and south poles too, and magnetic fields surrounding them. Earth's magnetic poles pull at metal like the compass needle until they are aligned. That's why a compass needle points toward Earth's magnetic north pole. Ow! Yes, Moby, that's north.